In this video, I'm going to show you another method of using the Shade Light Replace Me feature. This unique feature is new to Shade Light version 2, and it helps sketch up viewport performance by replacing simple components with the full 3D model in the Shade Light render window. As mentioned in the first video, there are three methods to using the Shade Light Replace Me. In this method, I'm going to show you how to use the Shade Light Replace Me creator and a local model that I have on my machine to replace my placeholder component here. So in my SketchUp window here, I've created a simple cube component. And I'm going to go into my plugins menu. And in my shade light for SketchUp menu here, we can see we have the replace me creator. So as I've already selected my component, it's selecting the replace me here as golf buggy. Now that's just what I've called that cube there, as I know that's what I'm going to replace this with. So I'm going to use this as a marker for my golf buggy. And I'm going to select that I want that to be a replace me component. And I'm just going to browse to the place on my computer where I have this golf buggy saved. Now I've actually created this file and saved it with the uh, SketchUp and Shade Light materials as well. So these will come into my Shade Light render window. Now I just need to select enter or return in the box here to select those changes. And now when I re-export this to Shade Light, it's going to go and get the model from my computer and it's going to replace that placeholder there. So we can see now we've got that cube replaced with the golf buggy in the render window. And it has those material properties, so we've got that uh, shiny material on here as well. Now it is worth knowing that th as the positioning of this um, buggy comes in, it's placed exactly where the origin of this component is. So if I have a look inside this component, I've got the origin on this corner and that's the same place as that golf buggy. So you need to know sort of where your origins are, but that can be set up sort of quite simply. Now in here, we've already seen uh, in the last video, we can actually move this and that just move those components as well. And we can also clone this. So uh, if we wanted to create another version, another copy. So it's e quick and simple to create a large number of these components in here. And uh, this can also be scaled as well. If I just use a scale tool, scaling the component in SketchUp, that scales that in there as well. So in the shade light render window, we get those changes made across. So we can see how this helps the SketchUp viewport performance. By having these simple cubes that SketchUp is quite happy with, we can have this complicated geometry and we could have hundreds of these in our scene.